Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. I hope your history, civics, preparation, study and revision is going on very well. Before we get into the important questions, I just want to tell you one thing. The trick to learning history is to actually break it down into small, small parts. That's very important. Up pure isko World War I ho, World War II ho and United Nations. You essentially have these three main portions, right? You just break it down. World War I and World War II, essentially your causes. What led to each of these two wars is what you need to learn. So just break it down into points. United Nations may you break it down into tabular form so that you know each one of the organs, each one of the agencies got different role and function. So that the moment you have it in simplified form with the keywords, it becomes easier for you to remember. Okay, so let's get started with the question and answer format, the MCQs on history. Okay, let's get started with the history important questions. There are 25 questions in this particular video. But if you need more questions, we have 20 test papers on the SWS app. The link is in the description box containing both MCQ and subjective type questions and telling you how to write the perfect subjective answer. It contains all kinds of questions, easy, medium, little difficult, application based, Subjective main, there is all the details which has been put in. So you get a comprehensive revision ahead of your examination. Just the perfect recipe for a good quality revision ahead of your history and civics board examination for semester two. Okay, so let's get started. This is the emblem of the World Health Organization. I hope you can see the picture on your screen. The Treaty of Versailles, the Nazi Party of Germany, or the International Court of Justice. I have told you in the video mein that you need to pay attention to the photographs which are there in your book. I am not sure whether this particular photograph is there in different textbooks, but in case if it's not, you still need to know. This is the emblem of the ICJ, option D, International Court of Justice. Okay, so please have a look at the emblem carefully. Upar aap dekh sakte hain, Tarazu hai, so Tarazu se aapko ek idea ho jayega that this has to do with law, okay? Identify this particular building, okay? Is it the WHO headquarters? Is it the NAM headquarters, non-aligned movement headquarters? United Nations headquarters or the Hiroshima Memorial where an atom bomb was dropped on the 6th of August 1945? The correct answer is C, United Nations headquarters in New York, okay? This photograph is there in most textbooks. Please look at it carefully. Okay. In this photograph, where is the Ukraine-Russia war being discussed? If you see the photograph, and I hope you can see it clearly, uh, the Ukrainian president Zelensky, who is in the news for the last one, one and a half months, is talking via a video link to the people out here. So is it the General Assembly of the UN? Is it the Security Council of the UN? Is it the NATO headquarters? Because remember, NATO kisat abhi jo chal in case if you have been following the news, or is it the ICJ, the International Court of Justice? The correct answer is B, the Security Council of UN. Aapki kitab mein Security Council or General Assembly ke jo andar ki photographs hai, please look at them carefully, okay? So you need to know in case if you get a photograph based question. Identify the person who is not in this photograph. Is it Fidel Castro, Nehru, Nasser or Tito? Now the person on the extreme right is Tito, Nehru, Jawala Nehru in the middle and Nasser of Egypt in the, on the left. The correct answer is the person who is not in this photograph is Fidel Castro of Cuba. He is not in this photograph. Whichever question has a not, please pay more attention. Okay, read the question carefully. Where was the first NAM summit held? Now, this is the emblem which was used at one of the NAM summits, generally symbolizing peace, Belize, Belgium, Belgrade or Belarus. The correct answer is C, Belgrade in 1961. The meeting of these three men led to the, this photograph is there in most of the textbooks, led to the United Nations, League of Nations, Treaty of Versailles or the anti comintern Pact. The correct answer is A, United Nations. This is Joseph Stalin of Russia, Roosevelt of the USA and Winston Churchill of Britain, Prime Minister of Britain. So please know this photograph carefully. You should be able to identify the three leaders as well. 
In this photograph, Gavrilo Princip is shooting at. Now, many of the textbooks don't give the name of the assassin. His name is Gavrilo Princip, who is shooting the man in the black coat and hat. He's shooting at the chief of Black Hand, the Sultan of Ottoman Empire, Adolf Hitler, or Archduke Ferdinand. The correct answer is D. Archduke Ferdinand, the immediate cause of the First World War. This photograph is significant. Please be able to identify this photograph. And as I said in my video, immediate cause of First World War, aapko pura yaad hona chahiye, all the different aspects. The person in the photograph was responsible for the spread of Nazism, Imperialism, Fascism and Communism. So first you need to know who this gentleman is. This person is Adolf Hitler and his, he was responsible for the spread of Nazism. What was NAM not opposed to? NATO, Panchil, Warsaw Pact or Seattle? NAM was opposed to all other different military alliances. Panchil is not a military alliance, right? And Panchil was the basis on which NAM was founded. So the correct answer is B, not opposed to. As I keep saying, whichever question has a not, please pay more attention. What did NAM not advocate? Did it not advocate sovereign equality, human rights, environmental protection or racial discrimination? The correct answer option is D, racial discrimination. NAM did not advocate racial discrimination. India has been a member of UNESCO since 1946, 47, 48 or 1950. Did it become a member only when it became a republic? No. Did it become a member when it became independent? No. The correct answer is A, 1946. It's mentioned in your textbook. When COVID broke out, which UN agency was at the forefront? WHO, UNICEF, UNESCO or was it Red Cross? Many of you could just get confused between WHO and Red Cross. The correct answer is A, WHO, World Health Organization. How is the UN Secretary General appointed? Is he appointed by the General Assembly or the Security Council or he's appointed only by those five permanent members? Remember the names of the five permanent members. Or is he appointed by the outgoing Secretary General who is retiring? Does he nominate or appoint the next Secretary General? No, he's appointed by the General Assembly. Okay, Security Council also gives his opinion but his appointment takes place by the General Assembly. A veto in the Security Council is a negative vote. Is it a vote of abstinence? Is it a prohibitory vote or is it both negative vote and vote of abstinence? No, it is a negative vote. The Treaty of Versailles was based on the spirit of reconciliation, revenge, patronage or appeasement. The correct option is B, revenge. This is an important question even from the subjective question point of view. After the end of World War I, which country became an independent state? Italy, Yugoslavia, France or was it USA? The correct answer is B, Yugoslavia. There were other countries also you need to know because as I said you need to know the geographical changes that happened in Europe after the end of the First World War. Which country was excluded from the conference to discuss the Treaty of Versailles? USA, Russia, France or Britain? Pretty simple, Russia because the you know the names of the leaders of the other three countries who were involved in the entire discussion around the Treaty of Versailles after the First World War. Which of the following was a cause for the Second World War? Satisfaction with the Treaty of Versailles, downfall of Hitler, failure of United Nations or failure of League of Nations? The correct answer is failure of the League of Nations. Many students in their hurry end up writing United Nations. They think it is the, you know, fallout of the United Second World War. Sometimes you may get confused and write A also. It is dissatisfaction, not satisfaction. So please look at each option very carefully. After World War I, the Saar coal mines were awarded to Poland, France, Belgium or Denmark. The correct answer is France. Now let's see a related question. Under the Treaty of Versailles, the German region of Saar was to be governed by League of Nations or was it by France, Russia or Poland? The correct answer is A, League of Nations. This may France ka bhi haat tha, but it was under the, that's why I said under Treaty of Versailles, it said under the League of Nations. 
identify the incorrect statement about the Treaty of Versailles. It was designed to prevent Germany from going to war again. Correct. It declared Germany guilty of aggression. Correct. It formally ended World War I. Correct. It was based on British PM's 14 points. 14 points to tha, but it was not British PM. It was the American president, President Wilson, whose 14 points formed the basis of the Treaty of Versailles. Okay. So please remember the small mistakes that are made in the thing in order to confuse you. Which port? It's pretty much like the penny and the flower thing in your English literature paper. You, everyone wrote penny because penny be mentioned here, but the operative part was in this poem, right? Which port became a bone of contention and led to World War II? Bone of contention means which is the war on which Antwerp, port of Lisbon, port of Danzig or port of Dover? The correct answer is C, port of Danzig. Match the following. Now, see. I'll wait for 10 seconds. Okay, so 11th of November 1918 was the armistice. That is when Germany kind of said that, okay, we will no longer fight in the First World War. 2nd September 1945 was when Japan surrendered in the Second World War. The announcement of the surrender was made incidentally on the 15th of August. Okay, but the official surrender took place on the 2nd of September. And let me just tell you a short story. 15th of August, Lord Mountbatten was there during the Second World War. And therefore, when he became the last Governor General of India, 15th of August was chosen because that's the day Japan said that they will surrender. Okay, formal surrender took place on 2nd, but 15th August, they announced their decision to surrender. So, isile he wanted to give, Mountbatten wanted to have India's independence on the same day for his own reasons because he thought that was his moment of glory. 24th of October 1945, United Nations Day and 1st September 1939 when Germany invaded Poland. Before World War I, France wanted Alsace-Lorraine from Germany because it was rich in, this is there in your textbook, don't say it's not there, gold mines, fisheries, iron ore, agriculture, iron ore. What was common to fascism and Nazism? Belief in democratic rule, belief in totalitarian rule, belief in communist rule or none of the above. The correct answer is B. Belief in complete domination, one party, one leader, one nation kind of a mindset. With this, we come to the end of the important questions on history. This is more like a revision where you kind of get an idea about where you stand. If some of the answers you do not know, no need to panic. Now you know. Okay. Now you know that is the more important thing that you need to be mindful of. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. All the best to you. Prepare well, study well, revise well and sleep well. Bye-bye. Ta-ta.